guys, Erin Francois here. I am making a no-sew cafe curtain specifically for my bathroom. The materials we'll need are lightweight to medium weight fabric. I'm using linen, but cotton would also work great. A measuring tape to measure your window and fabric. Scissors, hem tape, your rusty trusty iron. Oh yeah, and an ironing board too. The first thing you wanna do is measure your window. And then cut your fabric so that it's one and a half times the width of your window. And then if you're doing a cafe curtain, one that just goes halfway up the window, take your measurement of your window, cut it in half, and then add two inches. So in this case, I cut my piece of fabric 40 inches wide and 25 inches high or long. I wanna use the salvage along the bottom of my curtain so I don't have to hem that side. So to get started, we're gonna hem, use our hem tape and our iron, and create a hem or hide the cut edge of the sides of our curtain. We're gonna do that first. And to do that, we're gonna fold the fabric back on itself about one half to three quarters of an inch. Iron it basically to hold, a, to create a crease. We're gonna press it. I have my iron set to the linen mode, which is the hottest mode. And that's only because I'm using linen fabric. If you're using cotton, you wanna do the cotton setting. So I've got my fabric folded over. As you can see, it's not perfect. It's basically eyeballed one half to three quarters of an inch folded over. Then we're just gonna do it again. Fold our fabric over. This time though, we're gonna fold it over an inch thick. Okay, and the reason we're doing an inch thick is because our hem tape is about an inch thick. And we wanna make sure that we create enough of a fold to completely enclose the hem tape. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. These are my favorite types of DIY projects because it's, it's less intimidating and you just, you just do it. So then you're gonna take your hem tape and cut it to the length of the side that you're hemming. In this case, I have a couple pieces. I'm just gonna sort of piece together. But if you have a, you know, if you have a roll of hem tape, you'll wanna just roll it out and cut it to the length that you need. I have my two creases on the edge and I stick my hem tape within that crease so that it's fully hidden and iron. Instructions say three seconds with a hot iron. I don't know, I sometimes it's three seconds, sometimes it's five, but basically you'll press that down and then move on. Looks like I have a couple spots here that aren't quite melted. So now my side of the curtain is hemmed. And then you'll just wanna do the same thing on the other side of the curtain which I've already done. So as you can see, the two sides of the curtain, this is, you're looking at the back side of the curtain here, the, the two sides of the curtain are hemmed. Now we just wanna work on the top. And so you'll do the exact same process where you fold it over once and then fold it over again and iron both times, and then your curtain will be done. So let's work on the top edge and then we'll hang it up on the window. So now that we have our curtain made, we're gonna hang it up and we'll use these ring clips to clip the curtain on and then we'll slide it onto our drapery rod. So that's sort of the long and short of creating a cafe curtain. If you do have a sewing machine, feel free to use the sewing machine in place of the hem tape. But hopefully if you're not a sewer, you found this tutorial helpful.